guys, welcome to my channel. I'm coming at you completely barefaced today. I was sitting on the couch reading through some comments and I've had a few people ask me about the new Cherry Stacks lashes from Lashify, which I actually want to try myself. But it reminded me of what customers used to do when Lashify first came out. People really wanted like a spiky lash look. Lashify just had the core lashes and I think the ease, the drama, and a few others at that point. So what they would do is, I'm not sure who came out with this concept, so if anybody knows, maybe it was Sahara herself. I can't remember. I just remember doing it and I really like the results. I don't know remember exactly how I did it, but I'm gonna try to duplicate that in today's video. Essentially the concept was you had a base set of lashes on in whatever style you wanted, and then you would take another lash, I would recommend using the core lashes, and you would take a cluster, and then using some glue you would pinch the top of the cluster together so that the fibers would stick into a point, and then stack those on top of your base set, that way you get that spiky look. So I don't have the cherry stacks just yet, but I do want to order them and try them out myself. I think it's a great concept, especially if you want like a really fun dimensional eyelash look. It's just great to have in your lash stash. So today we're going to do what the OG started with. We're going to try that OG method. Again, I don't remember 100% how it went down, but I'm gonna, we're gonna roll with it and we'll see what we come up with. Ideally, you want your base lashes to probably be at least the same length at minimum, at max, or shorter than the spike, because if your base lashes are longer and you place the spike on top, it's not gonna go past and you're not really gonna see it. I don't really have too many short, short base lashes from Lashify. A lot of mine are 12s, and the C12s that I have are 12s. So I have some plushies here in 11 and then I have some plushies in 12. So I think what I'm going to do is do like one 12 plushie and then do the rest 11s. That's the idea in my head so far. Alright, so I'm going to grab my glue and I kind of bent my tip here so it makes it easier to apply. And I'm going to dab this along the base. Kind of like that. A little bit goes a long way. And I think I'm going to double bond. So I'm going to use a clear side. And let me grab a cluster plushy 12, I believe this is. And I'm going to place some glue on the top of the lash band to coat the top of the lash band as well. So that way I have glue on my natural lashes and on the lash band so it should be pretty secure. And then I'm going to place it as close to the waterline as possible without actually touching the waterline. You should not feel any poking when you close your eyes shut. If you do feel any poking, it might be that the lashes are too close to the waterline. So that's a 12. Maybe I'll do another 12. And the rest, I'm just going to do 11s. So I have two 12s, two 11s, and now we're going to move on to the spiky ones that we're going to stack. So I'm going to grab a C12. These are chocolate. These are black, which I actually like that because I think you're going to be able to see a distinction. And I can't remember for the life of me how this process went down. I'm sure it's somewhere in like the Lashify group or something. Let me apply some glue to the insides of the applicator and then pinch the tops. That way I'm kind of coating Maybe that's not going to work, but then everything's going to be kind of gunky. Hold on, let me pinch with my fingers instead. Alright, I think we have ourselves a little spike situation here. I don't know if you guys can see that. We got a spike going. So I'm going to apply some glue to the base of this and stack it on top. Ideally, I wish this was a 14 or a 16, that way you could really see it, but it is what it is. And I like to place them in between clusters. So let's say I have one here, one here. I'll place it in between those two. And I'm going to place this actually a little farther away from the root. To kind of make it appear longer. Oh, now it's stuck to my wand. Let me wipe that down. If you ever get glue on your wand, just take some isopropyl alcohol and wipe it down. Huh. Look at that. This was kind of like the OG method. So I did one here. Let me do maybe like two more and see what it looks like. I think that looks so cool. I 
forgot all about this, so I'm glad I remembered. Again, I haven't tried the cherry stack, so I'm not sure how they would compare, but it seems like it would be a similar-ish concept. So if you have some core lashes lying around, give this a try. Again, it's not a new concept. It's been around since Lashify came around with a lot of their customers wanting like a spike, spiky look. So I just thought I would try, to, try it out once again. All right, let me go ahead and finish this eye here, do my makeup, and then show you like a full, full finished face situation. All right, you guys, here's the full finished look, both eyes and makeup and everything. I really like it. I don't usually like spiky lashes on their own, but I think on top of a set, they really add a little bit of something. This method is a little bit messy, so be sure to keep cotton round soaked in alcohol, isopropyl alcohol nearby to kind of wipe the wand and things like that because it can be a little bit messy, but the end result I think is worth it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me show you guys what it looks like from a distance. Let me zoom out. And here's kind of what it looks like from a distance. It's really cool. Really cool. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. But yeah, I was sitting on the couch and just randomly remembered this method here from back in the day, so I wanted to share it in a video. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in future videos. Bye.